Wow. Ah, how comes you are able to put it inside? Let me try mine. I'll persevere until I make it. Okay. One, two, go. Oh, Ouch! Sorry. This is very bad. Why is it that only it is only me that it is not getting inside there? I feel you bad. You can try again, teacher. It is your turn, teacher. Try it and see whether okay. you'll be able to drop it inside. Oh, now I'm becoming jealousy. No. You know, just now you have two and I don't have any. Just try, teacher. Wow. Let me try. Wow. Oh, that is very nice. Now at least I'm happy because I was able to put that one inside. Do you know that what, what that tells us? That it, it, it that is perseverance. Wow. I had to persevere because I did not get the first time. I did not get there in the second time, the third time, and now oh, I was feeling bad because you are able to get those blocks inside. But I persevered and I was able to get one inside. Yes. So our topic today is about perseverance yes what is perseverance perseverance is trying many times you try the first time the second time the third time and until you make it that is what we call perseverance, perseverance. and our topic today is about perseverance. perseverance yes welcome again in this topic of perseverance um teacher grad yes have you ever persevered in any in any way Yes. In anything that you wanted to do and you are not able to do. Yes. What was that? Sometimes, back when I was in school, we could be given some maths to solve. But mm -hmm. you could try and try and try oh. and you would fail. But at last, at least the teacher would show you how to do it and you would perform very well. Thank you very much, Jagradis. That is what we call perseverance. Wow. Now today we have a story in the Bible from Genesis chapter verse, uh, chapter 37, the whole of chapter 37, which talks about Joseph. Do you know about Joseph's story? Yeah. Yes, I can see you remember. No, yes. Joseph, the father, of the, 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 the father of Jesus. No. no, I'm talking about Joseph. And our story is about Jacob and Joseph and Rachel and his brothers. You know, Joseph was very, very, very polite. Joseph was very obedient. Joseph did a lot of things that were able that were, that were able to capture his father's mind. You see, Joseph was very obedient and he persevered a lot of things. Joseph was very a great man. In fact, if you read the Bible well in Genesis chapter 37, you realize that Joseph, Joseph was able to do a lot of things too. To, to, the, to the whole world, in fact, at that time. Now today, our story about Joseph, we are capturing about this, this Joseph when he was 17 years. You know Joseph was the son of Jacob, Jacob and Rachel. Rachel. He was the son of Jacob, Jacob and, and Rachel. Rachel. Yes, but just because he was, he was born when jo Jacob was so old, so old, he loved him very much because he was faithful and he trusted in the Lord. So when he was 17 years, he made him a coat of many colors. You can see this coat of many colors. Yes. How do you see it, Jagradis? Wow. It is so nice. Yes. yes. This is the coat of many colors that his father made for him. In fact, he made him because he was very obedient and he also trusted in the, in the Lord. So today we are focusing about Joseph and the life of jo jo uh, jo uh, Joseph. In the second time, I remember this man called Joseph. This is the time he used to dream a lot. In fact, this, that made his brothers feel so bad. And in the whole Bible, he felt, they felt very, very, very bad when he used to tell them about his dreams. Like one time, when he dreamt about when they had gone to the land to share some glass so that they can put them into bundles, you can imagine that the bundle of glass standing up. It is stood up, and the others started bowing down over that over him. Imagine, what a dream. He was such a dreamer, I think so. In the second dream, do you know what he dreamt about? No, I don't think you remember. He dreamt about a sun, moon, and 11 stars. 11 stars. They were all bowed before him. Imagine, all of them. And when he told them about these stories, 
they felt so bad. In fact, even his father, Jacob, rebuked him because of that story. But now, Jacob, uh, Joseph did not even lose hope at that moment. So he continued to, tell, to do good. One day he was sent to there to look for them. You know, that time they used to keep a lot of sheep. They had a lot of sheep. And now, uh, th that time at Hebron, there was no grass. Uh, so they decided to go to Shechem so that they can look uh, uh, to, to, the, to graze their frogs there. Do you know what happened? Instead of going to Shechem where they had told their father they would go, they took the they took the sheep to Dothan. So when Jacob was sent to go and look uh, to look what the uh, his brothers were doing, he went and went and went and went. And you can imagine from uh, Hebron to Shechem, it was such a long distance, and he got tired. But when he reached there, they were nowhere to be found. So he decided to go, to to look around. When he was looking around, this man came and asked him, "Oh, what are you looking for, young boy?" And he told the man. Ah, I'm looking for my brothers. They came here to graze the sheep here, the sheep's here, but he's nowhere to be found. So what he, the, the man told Joseph, just do this. Go to, I overheard them saying that they'd go to Dothan, go to Dothan and look for them there. So he walked and walked and walked again, persevering all that heat because it was hot. Persevering all that heat. You know you can persevere the heat, yeah? yeah. And then sometimes it's very hot. Then so he persevered, he persevered until he got to Northern. Before he could get to Northern, his brothers saw him. Do you know what they did? Teacher Grad is this one. Hey, this one is this. Now here comes the story, the real story. Imagine they decided to kill him. Oh. Imagine they decided to kill him. They, pro they did a plot to kill him. He's their own, own brother. But Joseph did not know. So he was walking very majestically with his beautiful court, going to his brother to greet them and to know how they have been. But when they saw him, they said, now what we'll do, we'll take Joseph and put him in a pit. Uh, and when we put, them, we, we, put them, we put him there, he will die there. And then what we'll do, we'll go back and we'll see, we'll say, t tell to our father that he was eaten by an animal. Oh, that was their plan. But God had another plan for Joseph. So when Joseph uh, got near them, they grabbed him, they took, his, they took the coat, and they threw him in that pit. Uh, it was a very deep pit, actually, because he, he was even saying, help, help, help. But remember, it is only his brothers who are there, so nobody would have helped him. So he threw, they threw Joseph inside that pit, and, and inside there, they would, he would even look at them and ask them, please help me, please help me so that I cannot die. But you can see, now when he was say, sitting there, he was still praying to God that he would not die. But all in all this, Reuben was not a, was not in this plot. He knew even if they throw him inside that pit, he'll come to rescue, to rescue Joseph. So he decided I will be able to come and rescue Joseph. So the, that time they went to eat lunch. When they were partaking lunch, some uh, uh, ranch somewhere, they saw this caravan coming with the Midianites, and they thought, now. Ah, Judah said, I have an idea. We are selling Joseph. We'll sell him to this Midianites. He'll go to Egypt and he'll become a slave. And that is what they did. They took what? They took Joseph out of the pit. And after taking him out of the pit, they told him, now, bye-bye, my brother. In fact, we are selling you to the Midianites. He tried to plead with them. As a person, you try to plead. How would you sell me? And yet you are my brother. So he tried to uh, he tried to plead with the brothers not to sell him, but they sold him away to the Midianites. Yes, and you can see here, now the camel is here and Joseph has been sold. He's going to be a slave in Egypt. When he was tied up and went to Egypt, he even turned back to look at his brothers and asked them, Shuari, would you sell me like that? You are my brothers. And he was sold like that. So when they went home, uh, they took a sheep, they slaughtered the sheep, they took bread and smeared on that beautiful coat. You remember the beautiful coat of Joseph? Yes. yes, this beautiful coat. They smeared a lot of blood so that nobody would know that it is not his bread. So they went home and took it to Jacob and they told Jacob, you know what Jacob, your son, now see where your son is, is it, does this belong to your son? In fact, they just asked us if it is not there 
brother, does this belong to your son? And Jacob felt so, so bad that his own son, his loved, favorite son is dead. And he mourned for a long, long time. And you can imagine he was even, every people, every person came to try to comfort Jacob. But he was unable to comfort Jacob because he was feeling the pain. Even you at home, I know there is a time that you usually feel the pain. A time you are even knocked by a table and you feel the pain. But you do persevere. You are able to, to be able to overcome that pain. So that is the pain that Jacob, uh, that, that is the pain that Jacob was feeling. And you can imagine on the other side what Joseph was feeling. Joseph was feeling bad. In fact, he was feeling bad because his own brother betrayed him when he was doing all that. So that is why today we are here to tell you that our perseverance starts with you. When you trust in the Lord, you'll be able to persevere. When you when you're able to do to to persevere, you continue and continue trusting in the Lord. That is our uh, that is our sermon today for the day for, for today. And now we have our memory verse, boys and girls. Our memory verse comes from the book of Hebrews. Which I know you know the book of Hebrews. Open your Bible, open your Bible. Hebrews chapter 13. Who is there? Who is there? Hebrews chapter 13. Are you there? Yes, are you teacher. there? Yes. Hebrews chapter 13. Can we recite it? Yes. Here yes. is the memory Here is the verse. memory verse. So we say Hebrews, Hebrews chapter, chapter 13, 13 verse 5 and 6. It is says, Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 and 6. six. Let us repeat again. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5 to 6, it says, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. The Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you very much, Teacher Kate. What a lesson this morning. We have been told, or we have been taught, that we need to persevere in this life. And with our memory verse, we have, be, we have just recited and said that the Lord is our helper. We will not be afraid. So when you are there at home, just know that the Lord is your helper and then you are not supposed to be afraid. I'm sure you have been encouraged this morning. Thank you very much, Teacher Kate. You're welcome. Wow. I will ask Teacher Kate to cross for us with a word of prayer. You remember what we normally do yes. when we want to pray? Mm -hmm. When we want to pray, we stretch our hands, we put them together, we bow our heads, we close our eyes, then we pray. Almighty and ever living God, we thank you, we give you all the glory and all the honor. We don't take it for granted that you've given us this chance with Jehovah. We honor you and we worship you. Even when we are at home, oh Lord, we pray that you will guide us, you will protect us, oh my Father. See, uh, uh, you will also protect our country, oh Jehovah, even in the, this, in this mid mid of coronavirus, may you see us too, for there is none like you. We worship you and we give you thanks. Thank you and thank you again. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.